Breach. Breach. Better. So to start with... Praetorian. Eat it. Actually, if anything, everyone focus the Praetorian. The sooner it dies, the better. Oh, you want to hit the Praetorian Torque? Sorry. Right side. You get to hit something without a face. Or rather, it does have a face, it's just a very ugly one. Alright. So, to start with... Deadeye! Not bad. Not bad. Followed by... Lightning Hand! Followed by... Honestly, just cap it on the face. Boop. Already, these Talon rounds are proving disgusting. That's like three hit... That's three crits within the first round of combat. Kinda disgusting! Like, that's actually filthy. The amount of damage that he's thrown out. He didn't need that cover. Holy shit, there's something about this map that's just lagging. Hmm. You know what? Can we co op? Yeah, let's commission Blue Blood to bonk him in the face. That sounds like a good idea. Boop! Dude, stop critting! Blue Blood needs nerf! Lovely. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, at least if Blue Blood is gonna finally pull his weight, it's only fair that everyone else uh, decides to slack off a little bit. How does that hit you? I mean, I'll take it, but... Whee! Meanwhile... Block the Legionnaire. The really? <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me at all. Poison! Go on. Take a deep breath. That'll at least guarantee you die. What? Oh. How did that trigger your overwatch? He didn't even move! Someone stop this guy! There's no way that missed! Someone stop this guy, he's disgusting! Dead eye! He's disgusting! He's disgusting! He's filthy! Get him off my team! <laughs> Actually, don't. He's amazing. Phoenix in the middle of whatever they were planning. Did all the shooting give it away? Funny thing is, I think she'd actually say that even if you decide to do everything melee. Okay, so... Tor, go that way. Enemies are harder to hit. That's fine. 
because blue blood is a bamf that's just gonna absolutely tear through everything. There was no hole underneath that grate. What are you talking about, game? Oh, you need to die. <laughs> oh my! Follow that up. Hit the python. Really? What the hell are you? Oh, berserker. Never mind. Who have we got as targets? Legionnaire, Berserker, Pithin, Paladin, and a Subtractor. Minus one. Four enemies left, and an intel crate that Torque can easily get to. So to that end, begin the filthy. 62. You know what? Cross map. Got the hostile. Three. Well done. Two. <laughs> It's filthy. It's filthy. It's disgusting. It's it's so gross. Get it away. Get it away. <laughs> Don't go down there. And Oh no wait, you only get one rapid fire a map. You should save it. Really? You could. How? He's right there. How could you not see that? How could you not see something that huge? Over there. No, that's not what I had to put! <laughs> I hate myself. It's fine. It's fine. We didn't need Claymore's turn anyway. He's just gonna get bonked. Still a miss. Uh, how? How does something that big miss? <laughs> how does something that big miss? Get up to that python, shoot it in the face. Give it the worst awakening of its absolutely miserable life. Oh, it was playing dead! Now it actually gets to try. Convincing. Uh, now let's say Vicious Bite, because that's got a bit of a cooldown on it. Instead... Shoot it! Not bad, not bad. Mr. Filthy. Dead Eye! I almost want to have you pass the turn just so I can get. Uh, just so I can knock this guy out. So you know what? We will. Feel the fire covered. Nice coverage. And two, one, whoop! Remember, that VIP knows about other Grey Phoenix operations. A capture is preferred. Play more. Don't blow up the dam. Good advice in general. Well, why'd you bring it up? Efficiency. I said it, so none of you have to. 
And that's why I love bringing Claymore around. He's just a ca- he's a character. He's a snarky person. He's aware of his specialties and just how much damage they can cause. He's not wrong. Like, seriously, he's kind of disgusting. Alright, seal the deal, and Vanga. If anything, maybe I should just have one unit go down this way. Specifically... No! <laughs> okay, I want to... I want to have Blue Blood go in here! Because he'll be absolutely disgusting. But I really shouldn't. But I will anyway. <laughs> this is gonna be absolutely disgusting. Really? We haven't taken any damage yet? Oh, well, that's fixed. Don't mind me. We have two alert enemies. The Domino Mamma Mamma and Python. Python! You're only good for code! Just in case. Not bad, but not great. That's okay. Not really. End it. Didn't exactly want to do that, but needed to make sure that the alert enemies didn't. Great us. Phoenix VIP is on the move. Subdue if you are able. Yep, and that's the asshole up there. We're gonna have a time and a half getting up to him. Let's see here. Can I pineapple? I could. But I'm just gonna be hitting a legionnaire. Not exactly ideal. Although, I can move him into half cover. They'll at least evacuate the city. Shrap won't end the turn. And that will actually hit two targets. Ideal. Now, the big issue with this is this guy is going to be hanging back and constantly buffing his allies and making things harder for us. We're going to need to get creative to take him out. Ugh. Took a hit. I can manage. It's at least damaging one of them. I wish I could take you out permanently, though. Maybe I can. As much as I want to have Blue Blood just go full Zerker, maybe it'll be better if I move him up instead. At least to this point of cover. And like this, he's at least getting an Overwatch. Then next... Are there any civvies around you? There are not. I could kill you. Are there any civvies around this car? There are not. And I've gotten paranoid now. Just so I don't merc any civvies. There was an angle where I had both these cars, wasn't there? I thought there was. Damn. Now I kind of don't want to. To which... At least chipping down the Berserker will be a good decision. You. Because you're moving next. Ooh! 
Bad day. Torque. What have we got for you to do? Answer. Grip that legionnaire. Whee! And bind. So that'll take him out of the game for now. Faceless can't attack anyone. So it's probably just gonna take two movements. Two very slow lumbering movements. Blue blood! How would you like to be filthy again? Dead eye! Oh! Followed by... Do I? <laughs> I mean, it's a coin flip. Fine. If it crits, it ignores his armor. Let's not. Yeah, I figured that was going to be a miss, just in case. And... Maybe I should team up. Advance Claymore. Actually, can a phase lance hit him? It can. Is it a good idea? No. I just want to see. That's all. Really? Just dead eye the paladin. Hope for the best. Ooh! How many are you gonna hit? You're filthy! You're disgusting! If we could shave you, then you... So we could easily name you Mr. Clean, because that's all you do! Traversing. You'll make it. Shrap. Terrible idea time. I have, I have a cunning weapon. plan. Well... Not exactly cunning, it's more, uh, predictive. <gasps> He's in position! I can't believe it! I actually predicted it where he was gonna go! That actually makes me so happy. Usually I'm not good at being that predictive. Move up! I uh, can't exactly plasma. That's way, way too far. Uh, yeah, heal Claymore just in case. Got a bad feeling, and usually my bad feelings are accurate. Merc. Hostile no longer exists. Good hit. And blue blood. A dead eye will not kill. Gotcha. It'll come close, though. <laughs> Blue blood, stop! Stop! You're gonna murder! You're gonna ruin everything! At this rate, you're gonna ruin everything! Stop! Prep phase. Prep. 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 We can't reach him. Damn it. Claymore, move up. And just in case, get yourself some uh, H. You are probably going to call for aid. Or go melee. Ooh! Me down. Don't let it get infected. Um, can't bonk you. Makes me sad. Fine then, just heal him. Let's get your insides back inside. Also glad that I decided to heal him on that one turn because if I didn't, then his HP would have been at one, I think. Move you up. 
guys, it doesn't really matter. I'm nearly dry. Blue blood, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And pistol it. Excellent work. 80% chance of 20 intel. That's looking pretty good. We always need more intel. Always need more intel. Man, I can't believe I managed to predict that movement with a grenade. I am so giddy from that. And we got our intel. Cool. Excellent. Dismantling the Grey Phoenix leadership should throw them into disarray. Again, this isn't the end of it. We took down one of the two leaders, not both of them. We How still need to. So much naive optimism it... into terrible situations. <laughs> I'm Canadian, or I was when Canada was a thing. Canadian, Canadian. Right, the maple flavored kind. Did you say flavored? Mm, medallions of Canadian, fresh off the griddle. Please tell me you mean Canadian bacon. Of a sort. <laughs> uh, yeah, again. Well, milk toast. While he's a bit milk toast, Whisper is just a really nice guy to be around. I feel like he'd be a really nice guy to be around. And I lost track of what I was saying before. Oh well. Right side. Claymore is an upgrade. So now we can get either Heavy Shrapnel, which allows Shrapnel Bomb to deal damage through cover. Or Impending Doom, which allows wherever you throw it to rupture targets, effectively ruining their armor. Usually I go Impending Doom. But I don't know whether I... Yeah, you know what? We need more ailments to throw around, so rupture it is. Meanwhile, Zephyr is finished with her training. So now we can... Probably run patchwork through this, just to be safe. We've got one more day to go for that. Three more for humanitarian aid. But we do have access to the scavenger market. And this means we get a free item. Which means we can get a free gun. Let's see. Cereal. And I think that is... Okay, that's a pistol. But we don't exactly need that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be getting that. I want to say that was an assault rifle. We'll find out shortly. A short time ago, Grey Phoenix forced their way into the city starport. If they managed to launch a starship, they could cause all kinds of destruction. And... The final mission. Is available. Before we get to it, we're capping this out. Just so we can get some more, uh... Some more cash out of this. That is a pretty good payout on that, but... Eh. If anything, let's freeze the unrest here. Reduce the unrest here. Let's see. You're working on that, you're working on that, you're working on that. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, off to the mission. See, fortunate blossom. Yep, it's a it's an assault rifle. An assault rifle that gives the serial ability. 
So once we get Patchwork back into the party, she's likely going to be carrying that. I wish I could get another SMG for Torque, but... Eh, I'll make do. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I wasn't... I'm not exactly sure about my supplies, but considering how well the last round went, and considering Blue Blood is absolutely N-A-S-T-Y with those Talon rounds, I, I think we're good to finish this up and get to Act 3. Now, something important to note. Every consecutive act does strengthen the enemies by uh, a whole bunch of HP and uh, also the dark events and also attack power. Shoot everything with a warning label. Got it. You hear that? All of you? I'm not going out like this. Eh, you'll be fine, Torque. You could survive literal explosions and come out of it with, what, a paper cut? Actually, I don't think reptiles could get paper cuts because of scales and so I guess shed some of your next skin, next layer of skin cells. Man, someone's gonna get creepy about that. Last unit through has their weapon disabled. Honestly, blue blood can be fine with that. Torque could be too. So I think I'm gonna have blue blood go first. Play more terminal torque. Because honestly, Torque can just be like, GET OVER HERE! And ruin someone's day. Two alert enemies. We got a subtractor. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna crit, so maybe I should go for the Dominomomomomomomomator. He didn't crit. That's kinda lame. That deals with you. You're dead! And to top it off, Faceless. Pithin. Legionnaire. Ugh, Praetorian. Mm. Poison the Praetorian. I don't like the way it's looking at us. Like, I really don't like the way it's looking at us. They're getting away. Keep them off that ship. This map is going to be unique in that uh, it's got a bit of a dual objective to it. One, we need to make sure as few enemies as possible escape this map. If they escape, then just like any other type of SKB map, they get into the next map and so on and so forth. But in tandem with that, if I remember correctly, once we get to the end, we not only have to make sure no one escapes, we also need to kill a target, and, well, it gets more complicated. Let's save that, Paul. In the meantime... Ta-da! Ooh, that's one! Hands like lightning! And lastly... But not leastly. Oh, I wanted to hit two with that. Disappointment. Fine. Ta -da! I'll take it. Moving quickly. Man, blue blood is just a badass. Bob, when I should have weaved. Like, fuck. Yeah, you want a trap. Ruin their day. And with these enemies being ruptured, we'll be effectively dealing more damage to them. Let's peg the Berserker. Or target. not. Okay, it's fine. Don't 
Faceless is going to take two movement actions. Get in a really bad position. I'm pretty sure that means he's blowing up. Co-op. Because we're going to be going through quite a few maps. Chances are, Blue Blood can make for some quick work. Phase Lance can hit two targets. So I might as well throw it. And hit the pivot. Really? Berserker is going to take two moves. I'm out again. Eh, you're fine. Poison Spit will take out an enemy. Let's aim it a little way, just so we can poison less tiles. And take your freeload. Ready to fire. Good shot. Yeah. <coughs> uh. I'll be tearing out my throat already. <laughs> I did have curry before this, so maybe that's part of it. Like, the curry spice and everything. A little rough on the throat. It's a really good curry, though. Hell, I'm gonna be eating more of it, uh, actually finishing it, once I'm finished here. Again, birthday celebration for my sister. We ordered out at this, uh, Japanese fusion restaurant nearby. Okay, not nearby, it's like 30 minutes away, but the food is disgustingly good. And terminal, move there, please. Cover me. Watch your angles. If I remember correctly, we have to manually go up the door. Because I believe once we get to this half of the field, more enemies will pour in. I could be wrong about that. While I'm at it, we claim more up. Save yourself. Whee! Unsettling. Blue Blood can dash up, get to an Don't overwatch. Hey, I'll keep an eye out. We are ready for them. Let's see. Yeah, you've got a nanomed, so you could just dash up. You, on the other hand, are gonna need to take the long road. Otherwise, wait for Torque. Such, maybe that'd be a good idea. Reload. Fed my weapon. No, not there. I didn't click there. Come on. Uh. Why? That actually pisses me off. And just in case. I need a better angle. Running out of ammunition. Reload. Ammunition topped off. And move up to the half. Finding a better spot. Another biped showing off. I think I can cure the poison using uh Yeah, prep will just remove burning. Yeah, safeguard. Heal yourself, please. Headed Move up. Headed. Torque moves up again. There, just in case. Yep. 
introducing a little surprise that they had oh, for us. Hell, they have one of those things. For those unfamiliar with XCOM, meet the Sectopod. Ridiculous HP, ridiculous armor, and they deal ridiculous damage really quickly. If you see one of these, run to cover or otherwise ensure that you have enough units with either armor piercing, armor shredding, or crits. I prepared for this ahead of time. And it's still going to give me a hard time, guaranteed, or your money back. There's also a reason why I brought in Rupture from Claymore. Brewing shrapnel. I have an angle on that bomb. Shoot it. Okay, this one didn't give us trouble. There are going to be others. Uh, they have three ships in the air. Don't let them make it four. This starship has a command module. If it's airborne, it can coordinate the others. A formation of starships could do a lot of damage to City 31. Keep it from launching. Well, now we've got our objective. And we've also got a security door. First unit through will be marked. Alternatively, lesser enemies. So let's go this route. Let's have Claymore, Torque, actually, no, Blue Blood, then Torque. Because again, Sesame. Torque doesn't necessarily need to worry about moving as much. She can afford to be last. Oh, right, this area. Ugh. This one's gonna suck, because there are a whole bunch of capsules everywhere that are, uh... Plasma? And if they sustain enough damage, then yes, they do blow up. And yes, they, uh, suck. Right side. We are at least going to be clearing this area out. So we get a free room to mess around. If they get to that console, they'll launch the ship. In other words, don't let anyone get to this console and end the round there. We have ways of making them talk. And by making them talk, I mean, uh, ruining their day. Drop in the hammer. Under my jacket? You should Could be worse. Hmm. I mean, I could hail of bullets and just deal guaranteed damage to someone. But honestly, since I uh, wasn't paying attention and accidentally hurt terminal, heal. For a final breach action, she's definitely healing all. Crap, we need you to get in there fast. Miss! You have my undivided attention. And duel effectively negates cover. Of that jackass. It's a good thing I healed. Okay, what can Claymore do? Not much. Can't exactly move to too many places either. Shifting my position. Not where I'd go. I can at least throw a shrap in there. And that will kill him. If 
better still, if this guy moves into the range of the trap and stays there, he's also gonna suffer some big damage. Meanwhile, Praetorian. Dead Eye won. Wounded is wounded. And with a lightning hands. We should be able to kill this guy. Okay, the the grenade will take care of him. So that means we can focus our other dead uh what? Dude! Really? You know what? Fine. Blow him. Two enemies dealt with. That totally doesn't make any sense. I dead-eyed the Praetorian. I should have still been able to fire at the Praetorian. I didn't move. Uh, fine. Mind merge. Donates some of its stats to the unit that it's merging with. Also gives them a bit of extra HP. Right side, though. I think... No, we cannot. Yeah. Fine. Could just bite one of them. Could just spit poison, too. Is there an angle in which I can hit the both of them? Not exactly. Damn. Little disappointed. Not gonna lie. I can at least move Torque there. With luck. Perfect, I can grip the Paladin. I've got you. Yoink! Just go to sleep. Hope you like staying warm this winter, because I feel like you're gonna be doing that a lot. Really? Counter grip? That sucks. <sighs> it's fine. Okay, maybe a little less fine since I've just realized the gravity of the situation we're in. 